Hi, beautiful Saggi. Welcome to Free Spirit and Tarot Guidance. This is a general read today for Sagittarius, no matter where that falls in your chart, with the intent of giving you some insight into the limitless possibilities that are always available to you. Saggi, thank you so much for liking the videos, hitting subscribe and the notification bell, and especially for leaving me your beautiful comments. I love hearing from you and it helps me connect with your energy. If you're new here, welcome on board. You can find out anything you'd like to know about me or the tarot in general in the description box below. Okay, Saji, let's find out what's coming in towards you. Well, what does Saji need to know? Four of Pentacles you might be holding on to something at the moment, Saji, that you need to let go of. This is when we're kind of stubbornly refusing um, to see that if we just let go, if we just surrendered, um, we'd get the results that we need. Saji, uh, we'll get a general overview out here and then we'll clarify for details with a different deck. Wow, that Wheel of Fortune is coming on in any way in order to move you forward. This is fate, karma, destiny, whatever aligns with you, moving you towards a new cycle in life. So you can expect movement. Often with the Four of Pentacles here, this is when we're feeling a little trapped and stuck. Uh, but movement is coming on in. Let's find out more. Strength, beautiful. This is an empowering card, Saji. Leo energy here. This is when you're utilizing your sense of self-empowerment in order to move forward, in order to become unstuck. Now, strength does appear when we need to utilize strength, but it also always indicates to me um, a very, very, very self-empowered person taking things into your own hands, uh, which often does align you with this wheel of fortune and um, external circumstances coming in to help you move that forward. This is a co-creative universe, right? We co-create with the universe. <clears throat> and this indicates to me that that's exactly what you're doing. Tell me more. The tower, wow. With the wheel and the tower, you can expect a big surprising change. The tower comes in to knock down all of those things that you're holding on to. So whether they're, um, that's a previous situation, whether it's limiting beliefs, can be a lack mentality, anything at all. Could be a relationship or a job um, that needs to come crashing down. In the best way though, some people feel a little worried when they see the tower card, but I absolutely love it. It's a fresh breath of air. It's um, a necessary change, even though it might be quite a surprising one coming on in. Justice, yeah, because the scales are balancing out. This is Libra and energy here, but this is when everything comes back into order. Uh, so you could quite literally be dealing with a legal situation at the moment. But I usually see the justice card as things being out of balance and they would have been if you're holding on to something here. Now, these readings can always be reversed too, Saji. So this could be someone that you're dealing with um, and there needs to be a really big change. You know, there needs to be a storm, whether that's within yourself um, or with a situation in order to clear everything up, in order for that refreshing breeze to come on in and bring these scales back into balance. This is exciting, Saji. So whatever you've been feeling stuck with, it is definitely on the move. With the Hermit card here, Virgo energy, this is going inside, checking out your internal landscape, looking at your subconscious really to find out why you might have felt stuck lately. When we pull out any limiting beliefs from the subconscious, we see the light, we get that inspiration and that's what helps move everything forward. This reading is so clear, so far, Saji. Tell me more. In the middle of your reading there with the Hermit, that could indicate advice in that that's what you need to do at the moment in order to find your way forward through being stuck. The Emperor, wow, that's beautiful. Really powerful energy coming out here. Aries energy, the emperor takes charge. This can be characterized as the divine masculine energy. Now, there's no gender in tarot. It means someone who's got everything together, someone who is decisive, um, who is ready to take charge. Beautiful energy. You're, this is like you coming out of this hermit mode, firing 
all cylinders firing, ready to help move this wheel of fortune forward. Or Saji, this is also um, how you're going to deal with this change. Feeling empowered, ready to take charge of it, whatever it is. So you might be feeling right now this change coming on in. Two more before we clarify. The devil, okay, this is what needs to be moved, this devil energy. This represents Capricorn and the devil energy is all about, again, feeling stuck. Now, it can be addictions, it can be obsessive behavior, codependent relationships, anything that brings toxicity into your life. Um, see how he's got a puppet on a string there. This can also indicate some form of manipulation, a situation that you can, that you feel confused about, that you've needed strength to overcome. And this reading so far could be indicating that you just need to let go of that illusion in order to move on forward. Page of Swords, beautiful. There is a message coming in or something, um, some kind of light bulb moment. Look at those light bulb moments. She's researching how to switch them on. She's researching how to get out of a situation that she's in, let go of something that she's in. You could have been researching anything. This could be higher learning, could be personal development, or um, how to break free. There's a very strong feeling of breaking free from something here, Saji. Let's clarify and find out what's going on here. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Two of Wands. The decision needs to be made. You've been doing a lot of waiting, Saji. You might be waiting on something else in order to make this decision. You might be waiting on someone else to let go of something. One more on the Two of Wands there. Six of Swords, yeah, Saji, quite a few cards flipped over there too. This is all about walking away, sailing away to calmer waters. So whatever this toxicity is that you've been experiencing, and this is a general reading, you know what your details are, any kind of toxicity in your life, there's been something that you've been holding on to and that you've maybe uh, waited a little too long in order to make a decision about with this Two of Wands. Now, those ships in the background, they're coming on in. The Wheel of Fortune is changing towards a new situation for you, towards a new day with this new change, uh, but it does mean that someone needs to walk away from something. See those people, they're jumping on those bikes and they're riding away towards a rainbow, but look at their faces. They look quite scared, so it's been a difficult decision in order for you to walk away from something or someone that you're dealing with. Um, that they need to walk away from something, whatever is toxic. So, Saji, that's easy for you to figure out. If you're um, pondering as to whether you should, which it does look like here, leave a situation that has <clears throat> any form of toxicity, just always remember that life's too short, right, to hang on to any situation that is toxic. We can't fix people. Some situations we can't fix. It's just so much better to hop on the bike and and sail away from it regardless it looks like with that tower this tower here um something's going to come in maybe to force a change and by that i mean you know when we've been hanging on to a situation for too long it tends to sort itself out yeah beautiful queen of pentacles energy coming out here this tower is changing because you are getting grounded secure stable within your own energy you are harnessing this emperor energy the strength energy um, because you've gone inside and you've taken a look at what needs to be let go of in your life, whatever that is, whether it's um, one of your own habits or a way that you've been thinking or a person or a situation. This queen helps you do that. This queen is empowered. Um, that's what's bringing in this change. So that's um, advice for you here, Saji, to get grounded, sink into that energy, try to release any kind of... Um, fire sign stubbornness now Saji you you really do go with the flow you go after adventures and you utilize that fire to um you know be this emperor to be empowered but all of us get stuck when we're holding on to something and we need to ground 
into this energy and the way to do that is to meditate do anything that is enjoyable see how she's sitting in her beautiful garden there holding her pentacle it kind of indicates to me often to stop to stop and just be in the present moment and smell the roses because this this tower is coming in in any case and this will put you in the best possible energy in order to deal with this change coming in which is a good change, Saji. Everything on the board indicates that it's a good change. Absolutely, with the Justice card. Total victory, Six of Wands, another card of Leo here. This is you being applauded by the crowd. This is you being in the spotlight for something that you've done, for some kind of achievement. This is your justice. This is coming out to clarify justice. You will have success. So if we're talking about a, a literal situation here, if you are dealing with something legal or something uh, some kind of toxicity where you have felt unfairly dealt with, whether it's in the workplace or in a relationship or anything at all, whatever has been unfair towards you. Something's been unfair here. Some kind of toxic energy has um, been unfair and you might have been hanging on to a grudge about that um, and you've needed to make a decision to just move away from that unfairness because that might be the only option with the tower here but it's in the moving away from it itself that brings you this victory and brings you that justice clarify the wheel High priestess wow yeah you whatever you've been waiting for this is you haven't known but you haven't known which way to go forward the high priestess is all about secrets but she's also so intuitive she's the most intuitive card in the deck with this wheel here with the hermit here it's important for you to go into your intuition in order to move forward um, it's important to listen to the subtle messages that you're getting from your heart to take your focus off the external for a bit now Saji given the state of the world this could be the world the circumstances of the world that are um, that you're struggling to move through like so many of us are right now or any personal situation in your life that's been hidden and you haven't been able to see your way forward the way to see your way forward is to go go silent go in this cave let those light bulb moments come you know pop on themselves don't try to keep taking action i'm a fire sign too i'm a leo so it's hard for us to just sit still we want to keep taking action right but sometimes in the in the taking action we keep barreling forward and um, situations can end up it's like throwing fuel on the fire it just gets bigger and bigger and bigger and then we do get stuck when really what we need to do is walk away. That's the strongest message in this reading, um, Sag, to get still, to get grounded and to let this tower come crashing down. When you get the tower, it's all about not staying in the burning building. You need to jump out of the burning building. You need to sail away from the, right away from the, the burning building. So whatever is burning in your life because of this injustice that you have, um, dealt with what the scales have gone out of balance your victory is in sitting still for the moment and letting it come crashing down uh, i know i've repeated myself but the message is um, really clear with that in this reading clarify the hermit ten of wands yeah in this in this hermit phase going inside what it's trying to tell you is to release the burdens you're right at the end of this cycle so you might be holding on to a cycle saji this is uh like holding on to a relationship that has gone far past its its use by date there's been too much toxicity too um too much um there might have been power struggles here too much injustice basically and the ten of wands indicates that you're right at the end of that journey and it's time to um drop the burdens i'm noticing again how those light bulbs look how they're going off here we are with the page of swords they're not lit yet you're researching how to get those light bulbs to go off. How do you get out of this situation? With the Ten of Wands here, the light bulbs are going off. You know why they're going off? They're, they're lighting up. They're sparking because you've dropped the burdens. This is a person that knows that the new beginning, uh, the justice, comes by dropping everything, letting the tower come crashing down. And Saji, as I said, I don't know what this situation is that needs to come crashing down. Um 
but you will and it's anything that's toxic <clears throat> excuse me it's just it everything in this reading is says says let go or whatever it is that's toxic at the moment in your life which could be anything clarify the emperor Beautiful. King of Cups coming out with the Emperor here. King of Cups does surrender to his emotions. Now, Saji, this could be a person coming towards you. As I said, this is in reverse. So if this is if it's not you that needs to let go of something toxic or a burden or a long-term situation at the moment, this is a person coming towards you. They are letting go of something in the past and coming towards you. Uh, now, that could be someone with the King of Cups coming in here who has a lot of love for you, who's coming towards you um, to spill his emotions. The King of Cups is extremely kind, compassionate, nurturing, and he's emotionally mature. The thing is, because the King of Cups feels so deeply, this is water energy here, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, he sometimes finds it finds it hard to release his emotions and to talk about them because they feel tumultuous to him only because he feels so deeply. So this person, if it's not you, this is what they're doing. They're letting go of these burdens, releasing this toxicity uh, because they're coming towards you in this divine masculine energy. This um, emperor is all four kings rolled into one. So it's when we've learned all the lessons that we need, we've dropped the burdens and we then enter this emperor energy which is someone as i said who's evolved to a state of knowing themselves who feels empowered who lives life rather than letting life live them the way forward for this person whether it's you or someone coming towards you is to surrender to emotions to go into emotions which is also indicated here by the high priestess when you go into your intuition often you're led to feel your emotions and saji by that i mean don't be scared to feel your emotions surrender to them look at them you surrender emotions by looking at them um, write them down on a piece of paper just every day um, right at the end of the day how you felt you felt for example say you you felt in the morning you felt sad in the middle of the day you felt angry about something at the end of the day you felt happy about something then next to those points write why and it just helps you to look at them rather than run away from the emotions. And I'm saying this, Saji, because I think the, the reason why, whether it's you or someone else, has had trouble walking away here is because someone's been holding on to um, something because they don't want to look at the emotions because the emotions of it feel too painful. But the thing is, those light bulbs will spark. They'll light up as soon as you look at the emotions. I recommend... Um, looking into Eckhart Tolle's work, reading some of his books, li look, listening to some of his work online because he often talks about as soon as you put the spotlight on emotions or anything that's painful or difficult to deal with, they dissipate and then it's easy to allow this tower to come down. It's easy to let go. It's e easy to walk away from things that we absolutely know are toxic for us. Um, if this is a person coming towards you, Saji, uh, in this masculine energy, wow, this is an evolved, aware, beautiful person who is your match. With the Emperor and the King of Cups here, that is beautiful energy. That's a well-balanced person. Um, yeah, wow. Clarify the Strength card. Yeah, Page of Cups. This Emperor King of Cups is coming towards you with some kind of message of emotion again. Now, this is a very small message, um, but it's because this person has become empowered. So again, whether it's you, Sadie, or someone that you're dealing with, someone has become empowered with the Strength card here, with the Emperor card, and with the King of Cups, learnt how to come forward and express their emotions. Uh, the Page of Cups can also mean a small apology. So that could be coming in in order to bring you this justice over here and bring you this victory. But again, this is a message of emotion. With the Page of Cups and the Page of Swords on the board right now, you can definitely express, um, expect a message from someone who has dropped these burdens, who has let go and allowed themselves to walk away from something, allowed the, the tower to come crashing down. It really does put me in mind of someone who has held on to a relationship for too long. <clears throat> the Queen of Pentacles here often indicates a commitment and it's the commitment that's coming crashing down. So someone has let go of a long-standing relationship. Um, that is a very real possibility in this reading. Or maybe even a long-standing uh, job. Anything that they've been committed to that 
exhibited toxicity that needed to go. And um, you know when we get in those stages where we kind of are waiting for that situation to clear up, we're waiting for the universe to kick in and do it for us? Well, the Wheel of Fortune in the Tower does indicate that that might happen. But Saji, not without um, co-creation on our part, we need to take steps in order to let that come in too because it's a co-creation. Um, clarify the Devil. King of Wands there. One more on the King of Wands. Four of Cups and the Nine of Cups. So this King of Wands, this can represent you, Saji, Air, um, Fire Energy here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is also someone who's very dynamic. He's going to take action. He's going to take charge with a lot of um, energy. He's dynamic, this character. This is you, Saji. This is you going into your full power in order to go towards your wishes with the Nine of Cups. This is you. Uh, actually, this is clarifying what I just said. You taking charge with the King of Wands energy here to go towards your wishes. Coming out with the Four of Cups here, again with the waiting, the Four of Cups, very similar to the Four of Pentacles because um, there's been something that's been held onto here and it is this devil toxicity energy, whatever it is, or maybe some illusions, puts us in this state of feeling like we're waiting, like we're bored and frustrated. Um, again, with the light bulb theme in this reading, that's not a light bulb behind him. That's a cup with a shining light in it. It's waiting there for him to grab. That's his wishes coming on in. And it's very important for you to um, charge forward with this King of Wands energy. Harness that fire energy after, Saji, you've gone inside, looked at your subconscious, looked at your emotions in order to release those burdens and drop those burdens. That's what will help you go firmly back into this male or female King of Wands energy in order to strive forward really quickly towards your wishes and hop out of this Four of Cups and Four of Pentacles stage. The Fours are really kind of stagnant um stages you know they're kind of we're, we're stuck we're holding back and it's because we need to heal and rest and meditate and you know and integrate all of our lessons in order to drop the burdens and move forward such a clear reading um saji anything more for saji Well, it's so positive, Saji. There's justice, there's victory, there's love on the table. There's just the need to let go of this. Wow. And we're ending with the magician. Beautiful. Once you do this, Saji, once you let go, walk away of, from that toxicity, whatever it is, that's what um, brings on your manifestations. That's what brings in these wishes. That's what turns this wheel towards this victory and this justice with this beautiful magician card. This is you turning into the master magician. Alternatively, this is someone coming forward with a message to you who has been manifesting you. Now, the cards, this reading today, Saji, is very much all about you. There's um, victory and justice coming on in, but there's a very even blend be between pentacles and cups cards and swords. Um, this is about something that needs to happen. This is the storm bursting through. Um, before these things come in but they're all positive I just think at the moment you're feeling very stagnant and stuck because of some kind of unfair situation or some kind of toxic situation that you've struggled to get out of you're right there you're right at the end of it um, if this is a person coming in they are coming in with so much love for you it's absolutely beautiful and your victory is on its way you've just got to let this tower fall Saji whatever it is just let it fall just let it go. Just release it. That's where your light bulb moment comes in. This, um, as I said, I I, uh, I feel like there should be a storm happening right now and you can hear those rumbles and you, you're just waiting for that big crack of thunder, lightning, the burst of rain, and then it's all going to clear away and these messages are coming in, bringing in this victory, this justice. Um, and I feel like a person, Saji, if uh, you're manifesting love. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is just lovely. Saji, if you've resonated with the video, please hit like. Um, leave me a comment. I'd love to know what's going on here. I love the conversations in the comments. I find that they help everybody just to see everybody's different circumstances. And then we, as a theme for this reading, we get those light bulb moments and figure out the best way forward 
which is beautiful. We're all just uh, walking each other through these lessons in life, right, in the best way we can. Gorgeous, Saji. I hope you have a fabulous week, and I'm looking forward to seeing you next time. Bye.